Carolyn has 20 biscuits in a tin. She has 12 plain biscuits, 5 chocolate biscuits, 3 ginger biscuits. She takes at random 2 biscuits from the tin and work out the probability that the 2 biscuits were not the same type. You may notice in this question it actually gives you lots of space underneath. One of the reasons for that is to encourage you to draw a tree diagram. Let's see if we can set up the scenario here. So she could choose three different biscuits. I'll make my tree diagram as big as possible. I'll have space a little bit later. So she's got three options there. And then when she chooses again, there will be three options. Okay, so she could choose plain biscuits, chocolate biscuits, or ginger. So we've got plain, chocolate, or ginger. And then when she chooses again, plain, chocolate, ginger, plain, chocolate, uh, ginger, and plain. Chocolate. Chocolate begins with a C. Chocolate. Ginger. Okay. Now, we've got 12 plain biscuits out of 20 biscuits in total. So the probability that she chooses a plain biscuit on the first go is 12 out of 20. The probability that she chooses a chocolate biscuit will be 5 out of 20. And the probability that she chooses a ginger biscuit is 3 out of 20. Now, if she chooses a plain biscuit, if she chooses again, well, there's only going to be 11 plain biscuits left out of a total of 19. There would only be, there would be, there would still be five chocolate biscuits on the second go. So she did, she chose plain the first time, which means there's still five chocolate out of 19. And there would be uh, three ginger biscuits still left, so three out of 19. Um, if she chooses chocolate the first time, well then plain the second time is going to be, uh, is going to be 12 out of 19. Chocolate the second time would only be four because there's four left now out of the 19 and ginger would be three out of 19 and then and then continuing on if she chooses ginger the first time there's still going to be um, 12 plain chocolates left or 12 plain biscuits left out of the 19 in total uh, ginger the first time and chocolate the second uh, there would still be five chocolates out of the 19 and if she chooses ginger the first time, going back for a second round, there would only be two ginger left this time out of 19. So once you draw your true diagram, then what we, we want to do is essentially work out all the different ways we could have uh, two biscuits that are not the same type. So, if I get plain the first time, then I'm going to need to get ginger, or chocolate the second. If I get chocolate the first time, I'm going to need to get plain or ginger on the second. And if I got ginger the first time, I'm going to need to get plain or chocolate the second time. So what are these probabilities? Well, in order to ca calculate this, we're going to do 12 over 20 multiplied by 5 over 19. We would do 12 over 20 
multiplied by 3 over 19. Here we would multiply 5 over 20 by 12 over 19. 5 over 20 times 3 over 19. Here we will do 3 over 20 multiplied by 12 over 19 and 3 over 20 multiplied by 5 over 19 and then what we'll do is we'll add up all these probabilities okay um 19 times 20 380. Okay, that should make life a little bit easier. So multiply the numerator as multiply the denominator as 380. That will be 60 on top. This will be 36 out of 380. This will be uh, 60 out of 380. And this will be 15 out of 380. This is going to be 36 out of 380, and then finally 15 out of 380. Okay, so let's add up all the numerators. Uh, 60 and 36, 96, um, 156, 166, 171, uh, 201, 207. 217, 222. So adding them all up, you could use your calculator, you get 222 out of 380, and that is the probability that two biscuits were not the same type. Now, just FYI, you do not need to simplify this fraction. So we multiply across the branches, and then once I've done that, I add going down. 